Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it's a lovely Tuesday morning, and I am on my way to work. Got two days left. I know I didn't do a video vlog yesterday. Yesterday was Memorial's Day, and I just kind of wanted to have a little day off. No. Not that the vlog is a lot of hard work, but it does take a little while to get everything up and running. Not that the video vlog is hard work, or I guess I should say the daily vlog, video vlog is like, because vlog comes from video log. But anyway, uh, not that it's hard work, but it is a little time consuming. I just wanted to have a little day off, work on some uh, other stuff around the house, worked on the garden, got all my <coughs> radishes up out of the garden, getting ready to plant some more. Ordered some more uh, seeds. Gonna have good crop of turnips this year. Mmm, turnips. A little spicy. Grandma made the best turnips because she like put sugar in them, and that's awesome. It's always awesome. Sugar adds awesomeness to everything. Added awesomeness to this. I've been doing a lot of thinking. And most of the thinking I've been doing, I know you can smell the smoke, yeah, blah, 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 whatever. Most of the thinking I've been doing comes from the fact that I need to figure out how to make this daily vlog a little bit more awesome. And in order to make it more awesome, I need your help because you're awesome. And I figure if you're awesome and we cross the beams with my awesome, it's just going to make it that much more awesome. Yeah, awesome. There's nothing playing in these. Yeah, awesomeness. Yeah. Been working, 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 working really hard. Doing online training. I can't think of anything that rhymes with doing online training. Or anything that would go in there anywhere. That's okay, I've been doing some online training this morning. And I'm a walking to get me a little bit of lunch. Uh, here in Boonville, you only got like two or three choices. I showed you uh, Trish's the other day. Gonna go to uh, Midtown Gas and Grill. I guess that's what it is. Whew, well, here I be, back from lunch, back in my classroom. You can see how I've got it all, pretty much all packed up, put up. Everything needs to be, whoa, no, there we go. And we are, I'm working on some online workshops for school. Trying to get me some training in. Figure later on I'll make me a couple of three um, lesson plans for the beginning of the year. Got several workshops planned over the summer. As you can see, I'm on my way home. I found my hat. So I can wear it now when I work outside. Box of stuff. Yeah, you can see that Netflix movie. It wasn't any good. All right, well. I guess we'll go to Lowe's. Get some stuff for the outside. Do some work around the house. I hope I didn't leave my keys in my classroom. Oh, wait a minute, here they are. Looks like Ginger might have a little issues with her classroom. I'll go see if I can help her. Alrighty, folks. Well, we've been working in the garden a little bit. We got home from school. Like I said, I've been working in the garden. Like I said, I've been working in the garden a little bit, and now we're gonna have some shrimp tacos. Yay, shrimp tacos! Everybody loves shrimp tacos. Or at least I do. And uh, the taco recipe that I have is pretty simple. Get you some good quality masa. Put it in the green bowl. I mix a little lime juice with mine. Water salt, put them all together, and that's pretty much it. I'll let you observe. 
Okay, as you can see, we've got two thirds of a cup of, uh, I mix a little lime juice and water in there. I've made it with just regular water. Um, but just thought I'd try a little lime juice in it, see what it was like. I know this is kind of an odd angle, so, you know, just bear with me. But I'm mixing this up. I'm going to mix it up by hand until it forms a, a, a just a doughy ball, and it'll do it. See right there, it's starting to stick together already. If you can't find, uh, this is called uh, mas masake, masaka, masa. Just use whatever brand you might, uh, you, you have, whatever you think you might like. But the biggest thing about it is that you make sure that you don't use a lot of heat. Or I'm sorry, you don't use too much water. If you use too much water, it won't come together like this. It'll stay separated. Oh! And let me tell you what I almost forgot. I almost forgot the table salt. The last three times I've made this, I have forgot to put the salt in it. So I think two big pinches should be good for the amount that we're making. Lord, this is some uh, mixing up tortilla music. I believe I might need to put just a just a little bit of water in there. I'm going to get just a little bit more water here. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, gee, it looks like he's upside down. I've got the camera. I took the bottom off the camera so I could do some photography for some other stuff. And I only have uh, one tripod, so I have to kind of share my tripod mount. Being lazy, and I just don't feel like putting the uh, bottom back on the camera. I believe it's coming together. So when you finish, this is what you should have, a big lump of uh, dough. We're going to scoop it out into even sections, put it on the press, and voila, we will have tortillas. Now, one secret that the, one tip that the back of the bag gives me is to take a Ziploc bag, which I've done, and I've taken the top off of it. See, they've got the top off of it, so it's just a bag or a bolsa, as you would say in Spanish. <laughs> that one's for free. Then you're gonna take some scissors, or you don't have to take scissors, I guess you can just try to rip it, but you know, I ain't that coordinated. And just kinda open it up on the side there. Carefully, oh, oh, oh. Care oh. carefully, close enough. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Ta-da! Now, what we have here, other than a failure to communicate, <laughs> smoking a bandit reference. We'll put the masa right here. We have our press. We'll put them on my press. Ugh. We'll put the plastic bag on the press. Put the ball of moss in there. Close the plastic bag over top of it. Close the press. Lock it down. Hope you don't get a finger stuck. Awesome. Well, let's make some tortillas. I like to make sure all the tortillas are the same size, so I use a scoop. Okay, I've already got the oven on. Got my pan on the oven. It's rock. <laughs> I didn't really touch it. It's rocket hot. So um, I guess it's time to make some tortillas. <laughs>
Hey there! Well, just making a uh, few notes in the old uh, top bottom book here. And trying to figure out how to make this daily podcast, or I'm sorry, this daily vlog a little bit more interesting for everyone. Of course, I'm using my super secret language. So, what we discuss here, shh, don't be silence, people. I want to make this a little bit more fun and interesting for everybody. Most importantly, I've got some suggestions here that I think might keep everything a little bit normal and sane, but I would like your help also. So whenever you think of something interesting, put it in the comments below. Don't rely on me to come up with all these ideas because I'm about to run out of them. So anyway, I've got a couple things here that I want to go over with you just to see if Maybe they make sense to you. Number one, no eating of live chickens on the air. I'm going to follow that to the T. Nobody's going to be eating live chickens on my watch. Oops. Didn't mean to make the uh, thumbs up sound. That's, I was pointing to myself. I did, did, did it again. I'm going to have to do something with that. Number two, movie review Mondays. I like movies. Most everybody else does too. When I see a good movie, I'll review it. Taco Tuesdays. Everybody loves tacos, except uh, for crazy people. And they don't really count, do they? Number four, Reading Wednesdays, which is a book review. I know, yes. Believe it or not, I can read. Crazy News Tuesdays. This is where I try to find out some crazy news and talk about it. Sci-Fi Fridays. Potluck Saturday. And of course, instituted last Sunday, Poetry Sunday. So I hope this will uh, help make things go a little smoother for us. And like I said, if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see, put it in the comments below. Because there's a pretty good chance that if you think it'd be cool, I'll think it'll be cool. But the only person that doesn't think it's cool is the invisible wife. She really doesn't think a lot of things are cool. And besides, <laughs> it's not like I'm Wheezy Waiter and have like a clone walking around that can help me with this stuff anyway. Hey! So, yeah. 